Hi there, my name is Mark, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I embed GNU Emacs Calc into my Emacs buffers. More specifically, I'm gonna be referring to a LaTeX buffer because that's where I spend most of my time. What I'm not gonna talk about today is how to set things up, where I was inspired from. Those things are for other videos. Today is just to give you a brief overview of some of the functionality that we can access using the embedded mode. I'm gonna take a look at how to enter expressions, how to manipulate those expressions, such as expanding and factoring polynomials. I'm gonna take a look at how to differentiate a function, evaluate that derivative for a specific value. And hey, let's even take a look at how to find an indefinite integral and evaluate a definite integral. That will probably be enough to get you inspired embedded mode while you're working with your LaTeX documents. So let's get started, less talking, and let's get programming. All right, let's get started with an arithmetic expression. I'm gonna evaluate four plus five. I'm then gonna meta X so you can see the command we're using here, which is calc embedded. That will bring up GNU Emacs calc and it automatically evaluated the expression. Nine is at the top of the stack. Now watch this, five on the top of the stack plus 14. The buffer has evaluated. Let's add two to the top of the stack. Divide seven is at the top of the stack and notice my my expression is automatically updated in my buffer. Now let's go ahead and consider some expression. Now this time I'm gonna go control C E to get into calc. I'm now entering my expression in algebraic mode and look at that, there is my expression in LaTeX code. Now not so impressive. Okay, so let's go ahead and try a function on this expression. So hovering over control C E into calc mode O A F A F to factor that expression. Boom, it's done and it's ready to be typeset. Beautiful. Let's now try to expand an expression here. Now I'm just gonna type this as I would in a normal LaTeX buffer. So I got two binomial factors here. I'm now going to press Control C E to get into calc. I'm now going to press A X to expand and there it is, the expanded expression. How awesome is that? All right, not so impressive maybe. All right, let's consider a function this time. So I'm gonna Control C E into calc here. I'm gonna write out my function while I'm in algebraic mode here. So let's add some trig to this to make it look a little bit more impressive. Now I'm going to take this same expression. So I'm just gonna copy this line. Let's yank it in here, paste it. And now I'm gonna go control C E and now let's differentiate it going A D. And look at this, how awesome is this? Not only does it differentiate the expression, it changes the notation to F prime X. Wow, okay, one more time. Let's take this expression now and we're going to evaluate it for an argument of pi. So substitute the old value of X with the new value of pi, set that in there and look at this. It automatically evaluates this. We can get a numerical approximation by pressing uppercase N, beautiful. All right, so we've already got too excited to evaluate the derivative for a given argument. Let's delete that. And now let's finish things off by talking about integration. So let's go ahead and enter a function here, x squared, and we'll add, I don't know, seven x to it. And let's add, I don't know, sine x. Notice I am right in my LaTeX buffer here, LaTeX code hovering over control C E. And now we're ready to integrate going AI for integral integration variable X. There it is. Ooh, decimals, not a problem. If we want fractions, we can go C uppercase F. And now this is returned with fractional coefficients. Super fantastic. Last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna evaluate a definite integral. We'll make the function a little bit easier this time. I don't know, let's choose something super easy, x squared. I've entered this in my LaTeX buffer, control C E to get into calc. And now I'm gonna go A uppercase I. It asks me for the integration variable. I want to integrate this from zero to four. I get a decimal approximation. However, again, I can go C uppercase F for that fractional value. My name is Mark and thank you for watching.